Okay. All continuing to go well. Final minutes before the liftoff of Discovery today. Seven minutes of counting. See the order access on pulling away from the special discovery. Start and Peter reconfiguration are complete this time. 
now just four minutes away special discovery. This time the profile test of the Orbital Reserve Services has started. The Orbital Flight Control Services are being moved through a pre-programmed pattern to verify that they are in fact ready for launch. The three main engines are being gimbled in position for launch. All systems are going for the launch at this time. Just a few minutes away from the 28th voyage of Shuttle Discovery with a crew of seven on board. See engine gimbling going on at this time. T minus three minutes of counting to the launch of discovery. also known as the beanie cap, removed from the top of the external tank. See it moving at this time. T minus two minutes and 20 seconds. Cut it, count. cut it. In the next few seconds, the flight crew will close and lock their helmet visors. Seven of the crew is about to embark on the 100th shuttle flight in history. 92 crew will deliver and install crucial hardware to the growing International Space Station on this flight. This is the final preparation flight to the International Space Station before the arrival of the Expedition 1 crew later this month. So one minute, 30 seconds to count. Expedition will begin a preparation for a permanent presence established in space. Discovery will be launched in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to the equator. T minus one minute and count. Oh. Discovery now operating on internal power supplies. Seconds at T31. Columbia's onboard computers will have control of vehicle functions. We have a go for auto sequence start. T minus 15 seconds. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for maybe to start. Four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, making shuttle history and building our future in space.
distributed engines now back at full throttle. Um, uh, system support Discovery 3 auxiliary power units providing electrical power to the orbiter along with the uh, three fuel cells. All performing well. Downrange from the long side of 10 miles now at an altitude of 14 miles, traveling uh, 2,000 miles per hour. Now, one minute, 35 seconds into the flight. At this point, Discovery's already burned more than 2 million pounds of fuel and weighs half of what it did at launch. Standing by and, uh, for burnout and separation of the twin solid yeah, rocket boosters. That coming about 10 seconds from now at the two and a half, five second point. Yeah, All very quiet as all systems continue to form, form uh, smoothly during the ascent phase thus far, approaching 3 minutes 25 seconds into the flight. No issues whatsoever and that call uh, means Discovery can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure, but all three are still uh, performing well, as are the three hydraulic systems, the auxiliary power units, and the three fuel cells. Discovery can reach uh, orbit on two engines now, should one fail, however, again, all three are still uh, performing as planned. Five minutes into the flight, Discovery is traveling 6,500 miles per hour. The main engine turbo pumps aboard the orbiter are processing fuel at a rate equivalent to draining an average swimming pool in about seven seconds. All uh, continue to go very smoothly uh, during the acid phase thus far this evening, approaching five minutes and 30 seconds into the flight. <laughs> これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ